Hey guys, Mike Vasil here. In today's video, we are revealing how to sell on Shopify as a complete beginner. This is a full tutorial. This is the only tutorial you'll ever need. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasil here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where we're going over the fastest and the easiest way to make money online. We have a 62 year old woman who's never actually understood how to use a laptop before. Go from zero to $160,000 profit in her first 90 days. Check it out on the first link below. Let's talk about Shopify, how to sell on it. It's pretty simple. I remember getting started in Shopify in around like, 2015. I think our first month we did $5,000 in revenue and I want to share with you exactly how I did it. So as you can see, Shopify is pretty awesome because you could literally create a website within like five minutes. Okay. Just go and start free trial. Also, there's also these different prices, right? There's basics, which is $29 a month all the way up to here. You don't really need that, right? You really just need the starter basic package. When I first got started, I really just started with the $29 per month. And I also had 14 days to really go in on that. So once you're in, this is exactly what it looks like. And it's pretty straightforward. You just add a product, customize the theme, add a domain, and then set up payments. Now, before we actually go ahead and add the product, we could even go ahead and customize the theme. The beautiful thing about Shopify is they have a bunch of free themes. Like if I just go and explore free themes, you could go in and within like five seconds, you could import any one of these styles of websites into your own. And then the, the product is, is just easy, right? You want to get the nice feel, the nice touch, the right branding. All of it is pretty much free to really get started. I remember I used supply a lot when I was really selling on it. You could even get a more minimalistic approach. You just click on that. You go ahead and add to a theme library. And just like that, I mean, you saw me, we were able to go ahead and actually create our own very own website. Now, of course you would just click on customizing and this part actually, in my opinion, isn't the most important part. I think people hype on too much at this part and they waste all of their time when the most important thing is how are you going to sales and how are you going to do marketing? Like in 2015, I barely did any of this stuff. You just need the bare minimum of it. Remember, do not spend all of your time with the perfect logo, with the perfect thing. The logo can literally be something as simple as whatever your name of the store is. No one really cares in the beginning. Your goal is trying to find the right product and the right market that is gonna go and buy the product. Which leads me to the next step, and that's actually finding the right product. So there's multiple sites that you need, AliExpress, Alibaba, and Amazon. Now, the reason why you wanna use all three is you wanna find out what products are already selling if you do not have an idea yet. One thing that you could do is just start going through all of these things and start thinking, okay, well, which one of these things do I want to get into? Do you have an idea? If not, one of the things that you could do is just see these are the things that are, what you can do is just simply go on Amazon and just start typing your ideas in, right? So if I just type in grill gloves, one of the things that I would do, especially if I wanted to sell product, whatever idea that you have, type it in on Amazon. And what you want to do is you want to pull up one of your competitors and look at their ratings because what will happen when they see the ratings, and remember, this is on Amazon, but you're like, oh my God, I want to sell on Shopify. This will give you ideas on how to improve the product, guys. So what I would do is actually go to like the lowest or even most recent to see what people are actually saying. Not as heat resistant as I expected. So one thing that you could improve is maybe make it more heat resistant. Maybe put cotton in the lining. The reason why you would succeed in e-commerce, especially with Shopify, is when you are solving a problem that isn't that solvable yet. Like for example, for me, like I live here in Bali, right? And I'm a US citizen and I make money online. So US taxes is very hard for me to understand. So I was literally scouring the internet to find the best expat tax service to literally help me do my taxes. And it was very hard for me to find something that was like pretty good, right? There wasn't that much competition. If that's a problem for me, I'm willing to pay for a solution for it. And if someone literally said, hey, I can do all this for you, I'd be like, here's my money. That's exactly the same thing with physical products. They're telling you the problems with the products that they're buying. So you could either go ahead and ignore it, or you could be like, oh my God, this is a huge opportunity. You could then go to AliExpress or Alibaba, either buy a couple to just get started with, right? You could start with the dropshipping model. And then when you're like, okay, this is a really good thing. I want to go ahead and buy it in bulk. One of the things was gravity phone cases. I remember seeing this back in the day where you would literally put this on the phone case and it would just just get stuck on you know a window or a mirror or whatnot and they would get any get it literally for like two dollars right and then go case comes in and he's like oh wow i want to go sell something like, like this and then go case comes in and says oh i want to sell it for 16 bucks just like that you see them getting it for two dollars selling it for 16 dollars what they essentially did back in the day is they would start, start drop shipping a bunch of products right they would 
see what went really well on their store and then they would just start selling it to like a bunch of different Instagram influencers at the time. And when one caught up and it did really well, they stopped everything and they just ended up going here and bought the gravity cases in bulk because you could get it down even cheaper. You could get it to a US manufacturer or you could get it to a US warehouse and then just ship it. You cut down the shipping times, your customers are a lot more happy. That's how they were literally able to go from nothing to millions of dollars. Now, Gymshark did the exact same thing. Um, I'm just really curious how many guys are familiar with Gymshark, comment below. The thing about Gymshark, it is now valued at $1.45 billion, but they essentially started with the same model. They didn't really create the most beautiful stores. They put a bunch of products up on there, seeing what would sell. And the moment things would start selling and they were doing the dropshipping model where they would take the customer's money and then they would buy it from another warehouse and then ship it to them with their own money, meaning it's the least, it's like the most zero cost, most least high cost effective way to actually do business. What happened is when things started making sales, that's when they would go in to Alibaba and then they would get like, you know, gym fit tees in bulk and then have them custom designed. Look at, look at this. All of these look like the things that you would normally get here in Gymshark. And that's what people don't really know about Gymshark is they started off just selling other people's products when they would make money from their customer. They would take the money and then get it at a lower cost and then ship it out of them, meaning they never had to buy products in bulk when they first got started. And then once they made cash flow from that, then they could go and take more risky bets and then start getting, you know, 100 pieces at a time. They would save more money in the long term of things, but they would build a stronger brand where they could essentially sell for $1.45 billion. Now, once you're there, the most important thing with e-commerce shops are the photography. So I would just recommend outsourcing that right away. Just go to fiverr.com. It's super simple. Type in product photography in the search. And just like that, people could literally take pictures for your products and make really cool designs depending on what you want for like $5 or $10 if you don't even want to do it yourself. Remember, the most important thing when you get started in selling in Shopify, don't buy yourself another job, okay? My problem when I was selling on Shopify is I literally left a job to th then work another 16 hour a day job with Shopify. Don't, don't do all of the hats, of course, in the beginning, but the more you can outsource it by saving up money, especially in inventory, by doing like the drop shipping method, uh, don't buy like disgusting amounts of quantities from China, like what I did with like 2000 dog leashes. Instead, start small, kind of like what GoCase did, or spend most of your money and time on the marketing and the sales aspect of things. Because when you make money from that, you could invest in bigger and better things. So one of the most important things is like product photography. You could then put that here on your website, as well as when you create the products for yourself. Now, when you're there, you then want to make a long list of all of your competitors because you're, uh, you need to wonder what the hell other people are doing to go and make money with this. The hard thing for most people is they come in and they try to figure things all out by themselves. When little do they know that there's businesses that spend millions of dollars that already did all the tests for you and you need to tap into what they're doing so you don't have to make the same mistakes. So once you make a long list of all of your competitors that are selling similar products to you, find their Facebook page. That's very simple. Once you find their Facebook page, you got to scroll down and look at this thing known as page transparency. When you do see all, this thing pops up and you go here and type in go to ad library. Now what this is, is they're showing you all of the different advertisings that they are currently right, running right now to make money. Why is this very much important? Because everyone thinks, oh my God, if I create the most beautiful logo, the most beautiful design, my colors need to match, then I'll go and make money. That is further from the truth. You need to find out what is already working, right? What type of sales are they doing? What type of, you know, words do they have right here? Is this something that's actually you want to write when you first get started? Can you find somebody else to write these for you? When you do that, you want to click on exactly their sales page. What do their images look like? What does the words on their Shopify store look like? You could see, oh my God, it's pretty simple. This is a pretty much simple branding. I don't have to go crazy on this. Here's just simple pictures that you could go ahead and come in with this fragrance samples. What, what is the description that they're talking about? Is there any more information that they're going ahead and include? You could start modeling what's already working. Most people, when they're first getting started, especially if they're watching videos like this on YouTube, they don't have like the crazy, you know, 30 year experience when it comes to business. They want to start a side hustle. They saw some video of some kid making money online. They're like, oh my God, I want to try this too. But what you guys got to realize is all of the things are already done for you. You already know exactly what type of ad copy and marketing works. So why not at least implement it? And then running advertisements pretty easy. You literally just go to uh, business.facebook.com. And as you can see, this is how people set up 
uh, their campaigns. They literally just go in here, click on campaign budget optimization. This is just, you know, let Facebook do all the hard work. If you want more of a tutorial like this, just type in, I want to learn Shopify Facebook ads in the link below and I'll let you know. You can start it off at $20. Now the most important thing is a purchase conversion. You could set up the age, genders, you could set people up that like beards. Look at that, that's 59 million people or 230 million people just like that. You could also do men and women. And this is where you actually go ahead and put all of your different creatives, right? And the coolest thing about this is Facebook does a lot of the primary hard work for you, especially if you come in here, you click on this thing known as dynamic creatives. You're essentially giving Facebook all of these images and words and whatnot. And then Facebook will go in magically find buyers. I don't know how they do it. I mean, they know everything about us. They know what we ate last week. It's pretty intense. You ever notice why they show you the right ads at the right time? You're like, oh my God, I wanna actually buy that. They're, they're savages when it comes to showing you the right product. Here's where you can literally populate all these different types of options for like the text, for the headline, for the images, for the description, put your website in there. And then you could essentially let Facebook do most of the hard work for you. And if you don't wanna go that way, there's multiple ways you could also do it. You could go the influencer marketing route, right? Like as you can see, there's people that are already making content and if you literally make a deal with them, maybe give them a percentage of the sale or maybe give them some unfair cash, or maybe you wanna do a partnership with them and get 50-50 profits, you could have them do most of the work for you in terms of the marketing. You know, I did this for Instagram. You could also do this for YouTube. Instagram was like pretty underrated at the time, which is why it was a huge opportunity. You could even do this for YouTube and just see that he's even doing it for his own business too, right? He got 99,000 views for things. He's selling it to his nose trimmer. His nose trimmer is $35 and you could essentially get it here for $2. That's about $30 profit. You do the math, 10 sales a day is $300 profit a day. That's a six figure business a year. You sell a hundred units a day. That's a million dollar a year profit business, just like that. But guys, if you love this and you want a faster way to make money online, check out the free workshop below. Like I said, a 62 year old woman, $160,000 profit in 90 days. You could even take that money and then invest in your own Shopify store if you really want to go and make Shopify work. Check out the free workshop below. If you're new to the channel, also check out all these podcasts where there's this 30 year old, there's 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million. This guy that makes a million dollars per month profit, sexual transmutation, 1 billion at 22, as well as this guy who built six pack shortcuts to $10 million per year. If you want more Shopify tutorials, say I want more Shopify tutorials in the comments below. And with that being said, I love you guys. Peace out.